What can I get you? It looks like you could use something strong. Yeah, um, a whiskey, neat, please. And some information, I hope? I already asked at the bed and breakfast, but they were decidedly unwelcoming. What? Dee Dee and David? It's odd. Never met two warmer people. Well, I was hoping that the owner of this pub could shed some light on why they got so upset. I mean, she's around. Margaret Bishop? Most folks call me Peggy. Better that than Margaret Jr. Well, in that case, I think our mothers were old friends. Really? What's your mom's name? Elizabeth Walsh? Elizabeth Walsh was no friend of my mother's. And if you got any decency at all, you get the hell out of Fortune Bay. Haven't you folks caused enough pain? I, I, I don't understand. Maybe if I could just talk to your mother. You can't, because she's dead. And your mom's the one who killed her. My mother killed her. I mean, that's absurd. She was gentle and kind. She was conniving and opportunistic. Enough to find herself a wealthy man to give her a new life. While my mother withered away. Okay, listen. Maybe, maybe you're right. Okay, my mother died when I was very young, and there's so much I don't know about her, but I came here to find the truth, no matter what that is. And clearly, our mothers were friends. Perhaps that changed, but there's another woman in this picture, Florence Abbott, and if you could just tell me everything you know about them, I promise that you will never have to speak to me again. They were in a coven. A coven. Not like cauldrons and spells. I seen you in the news, running arm in arm with a bulletproof alien. But you don't believe in magic. I believe what I can see. Right. Well, 33 years ago, I saw your mother set fire to a shed without lighting a single match. And my father was inside it. He died. Your mom fled, Florence vanished, leaving my mom to deal with the fallout. See, this has to be a mistake. My mother wasn't like that. Oh, I see. You came here looking for a fairy tale that you dreamed up. Well, your mother wasn't the heroine. She was the villain. I get that your family is used to leaving a trail of bodies in their wake, but she could at least have the decency to leave them buried. Gonna call you. Well, I hope it was to pencil some thank you drinks when you get back because I found the woman in your photo, Florence Abbott. It took some digging. She gives new meaning to off the grid, but rumor is she disappeared because she was connected to a suspicious death, Margaret Bishop's husband. Listen, I appreciate the help, but I'm heading home. What? So soon? This trip was a mistake. I'm done. Lena, if you found some messy family history, you know that's nothing new. Yeah, well, I would have expected it from the Luthers, but I should have known my mother's side would have been just as awful. But what did you find out? It's hearsay, but I've heard enough. I just don't want to put myself through it. This has been a gap in your life for so long, and this is your chance to fill in the blanks. The unknown is always scarier than the truth. Unless the truth really is bad. You can't deal with the past until you face it. I email you the files on Florence. Just take a look at them. At least think about it. Information doesn't hurt people. Secrets do. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>